Good morning, Rick and Jack and Noel here from Random Panda. We are about to head out for Garage Sale Games. Number one. <laughs> the first ever <laughs> Garage Sale Games. The rules of the game are, if we stop at a garage sale, you have to buy at least one item. Um, and then at the end of the day, we will add up all of our stuff and whoever um, makes the most money minus what they paid. Uh, we'll, we'll look at comps on eBay and we will see uh, who wins. Okay, so I got these Starbucks pumpkin spice for a dollar each. And Jack got this Huron juicer for 20 bucks. All right, so next garage sale, I got this Kelty, it's a little kind of big bag, that kind of thing for two bucks. Jack paid five dollars, and these are a little uh, Fisher Price. You can see that one's a dance studio and a little candy shop and stuff. Two thousand one, so kind of vintage things. Let's see, on to the next one. All right, here we go. We're heading to this garage sale here. See if we can find. sale here look a little bit thin what do you think jack yeah we'll see <laughs> we'll see what's in there all right we're heading over there so jack's hating this game already <laughs> um i got this uh what is that called it's, uh steel uh steel series z board i guess it's some sort of uh keyboard i believe so none sold, but he had to buy something. So this was three dollars. Yes, sir. Three so we'll see. Right. We'll we'll do some comps on that and just see. Then I got some movies. Uh, they were a dollar a piece, and this ESPN thing. Um, this might be worth a little bit. I don't know. We'll look it up. Might not have been a great buy, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Poor Jack. <laughs> All right, this one, Jack, got this cool Chicago cutlery apron with tool barbecue tools. And I got this bag of junk, this sort of a junk player, but it had this Bose speaker in it. So I grabbed that. We'll see. Okay. Hey, babies, these are worth millions of dollars. This one, this one, too. Millions of dollars. Oh. Yeah. Cool. So Jack got out. He's taking a look over here. See if he can find anything. We'll see. Looked like it was mostly baby clothes and stuff, but let's see what he finds. Always looking something up. It's a good sign. Maybe I should have got out. Should have got out, Noel. Daddy! Should have got out. Dang it. Jack's gonna find something. Oh well. We'll see. We'll see what he finds. Oh man. Apparently he's getting all wet. There's some sprinklers going over here. Jack's probably getting wet. Ah. Let's see what he gets here. Okay. First item I got right here is the Sonic DX uh, Adventures Director's Cut, I guess is what they call it. I uh, got this for two bucks. I saw online, I saw one without the, just with the disc for 30 bucks right there. That's good. I got these. These are both uh, CD, um, like audiobooks, Runaway Ralph and the Motorcycle, the Mouse and the Motorcycle Boy, Beverly Theory. Um, 
paid two bucks a piece for these, so four total. This should sell for maybe 20 or so. Not too bad, we'll see. So Jack got these comics at this finish, so bunch of comics. I got this event by Buffett Clarinet or Buffet Clarinet for 10 bucks. Mine was 10 and Jack's was only two bucks. Two bucks. Alright, on to the next one. Oh and at that other garage sale where I was filming Jack, I got this set of weights for 15. And and Jack got a I cashmere got sweater somewhere. Right, yeah. It's from Halogen. I think they were rough. Yeah, I'll have to show comps, but Halogen. 100% cashmere. On to the next one. Okay, so I got this Escada watch for $4. Um, on the bottom, says that it's worth, I think the price was $574, so we'll see what that's worth. And then I got this Sony older uh, CD player tuner kind of thing. We'll see on that. And, and Jack got these golf clubs. Nike Sasquatch. That's Nike. A dynamo. Nike Sasquatch Dynamo. Okay, so Jack got this stuff. One of those is a Starbucks. They wrapped them all in camo tape, so we'll see. But yeah, that was three. And I just got this Quicksilver gear loop pump. Probably not worth the time. Alright, welcome back. We are home now. Uh, done with the uh, garage sale games. Uh, we are going to show you guys uh, what we got, and uh, Joy is going to tally up the scores to see who won. Ready? All right, we are ready. Okay, Rick got some Starbucks coffee, pumpkin spice for the Keurig, and the ground coffee. He paid two dollars for it. Uh, you can get fifteen for it. I think we're just we're probably going to keep that, but it's worth fifteen. Um, Jack found a juicer for twenty dollars. Oh. Pretty heavy too. And he's, yeah, Huron yeah. should be able to get $120 for that. And then they're going to be putting comps up on the sides and, and not and whatnot for all this. Uh, next up <coughs> is the Kelly Waste Pack for Rick. He spent $2. Kilty. Kelty. 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 <laughs> Kelty's uh, anyway. It's a big old fanny pack. <laughs> I don't go on the fan. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's either like a mini backpack or <laughs> it's worth $25. Okay. Next up is Jack found a box of Fisher Price toys for $5. And there you go. I'll show you some of them. Yeah. Little candy shop and dance studio right here. Um. Once he gets it cleaned up, and uh, he should be able to sell them all for about $60. Next up is some Mary Kay um, time-wise uh, foundations. Rick found 10 of them. He, yeah, time-wise, just a whole bunch of different ones. He spent $25, then they should sell for about $150. About $15 a piece. Yeah. Um, Jack found some Mary Kay lotion uh, at that garage sale for five dollars. It's worth twenty. I actually ended up keeping it because Jack's pretty generous. <laughs> with stuff like that. Okay. And uh, Rick found some movies uh, over there for four dollars. Uh, West Side Story, and then so ESPN thirty for thirty. Mm -hmm. Both are brand new. So. Both are sealed. And he actually found two more movies that I actually kept. Uh, I like to collect movies. So those two movies should sell for fifteen dollars, and then I get two movies that are sealed too. So those are really good deal. Not a lot, but yeah. this is one of those I had to buy because Jack bought them. Yeah. <laughs> um, next up for Jack is a game key pack. Key pack. For three dollars. Yeah, like you said, Daddy, he found an item, so I had to find one at that garage sale. Yeah. So <laughs> it's only worth like ten dollars. So. Just Jack's not bitter, so you know that. <laughs> you can tell in the video he was bitter. He's a little bitter, but he's a good sport. <laughs> um, next up is uh, Rick found a Dole, a uh, Bose speaker and Dole. That's a banana. Okay, Bose speaker. <laughs> she 
G, I'm having a little trouble with the handwriting, sorry. GE camcorder and tapes. He <laughs> paid $5 for everything. Little center channel speaker. And then the, just a cheap GE camcorder. I really bought it for the speaker, but they wanted to sell the whole thing. So came with tapes and all that. So. So the speaker he can sell for about 50 and the GE camcorder and tapes maybe 30. You'll we'll have to clean those up and test them, of course. Um, next up for Jack is a Chicago cutlery set. He paid $10. It's cool apron. Yeah, cool apron and all kinds of things in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is. Skewers. Skewers. Oh, yeah. Skewers. Some big, big old knife. Big old knife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you pay ten dollars, you can get thirty-five dollars for that. Um, next up is a weight set. Brick found for fifteen dollars. It was way too heavy to bring. It. So we didn't bring out it here. out here. Just you know, <laughs> use your imagination. <laughs> you can see it in the video. Yeah, use the video. That's okay. You can get seventy-five dollars for that. Uh, next up for Jack is a cashmere sweater. He bought for two dollars. Yeah. You can get about twenty dollars for that. It's a hundred percent cashmere halogen uh, sweater, so it's a pretty good. That's a good buy. Very soft. Very soft. <laughs> next up is some Beverly Cleary CD audio books for Rick. He spent four dollars on them, and they should sell for about twenty dollars. It's really cool. cool. Um, Jack found a Sonic GameCube game for $2. Um, should sell for about $50. Also, we will, will be tested and we'll make sure it works and everything. Still has the manual, I see. Mm -hmm. Easy That's ship, too. Yeah. Um, Rick's big find was a clarinet. He paid $10 for it. It's really cool. We do, we do uh, quite a few musical instruments. Um, Sometimes we keep them, sometimes we sell them. Yeah, you can tell it's got a little bit of condition issues. It does need new cork, and a lot of times on these it'll need new pads as well. Um, the pads don't look too bad, but it definitely needs new cork, uh, mm -hmm. but still should sell well. Yeah, you can get $150 for it, and we, we have really uh, good luck with those, like at the beginning of the school year, you know, because yeah. kids are starting in band and all that stuff. Um, next up for Jack is he had to buy some comics. Uh, he, bought, he paid $2 for them. Uh, had to buy some comics. And then he should get about 25 And this is also an easy ship because you can do uh, medium mail and it's just a little bit cheaper. So, not too bad. Um, next up for Jack, uh, Rick is a watch, a uh, wristwatch, Escada. It's really pretty. Um, That's the, with the original box. Five hundred seventy-four dollars. Five hundred seventy-four dollars. Uh, on eBay, about eighty dollars. <laughs> it is used, so yeah. and it's less. But, and yeah. we have batteries and stuff. Rick has a whole set. If we get watches, he can open up the back and replace the batteries before we sell them. Really nice watch. It's just a nice thing to do. Make sure it works. Um, next up for Jack is some golf clubs, and I'll let him tell you about these. He spent ten dollars on these. Uh, ten dollars. Uh, first one. First one I have is a Sasquatch Dynamo uh, driver. It's a nine and a half uh, degree driver. The next item I have is this VR four iron right here. And then the last one is a Sasquatch Sumo four wood. Paid 10 bucks for all of them. You can get about 120 for those. Uh, the golf clubs that Jack found and the weights that Rick found, we usually do on Marketplace because of uh, the shipping policies that have changed, especially with the length of the golf clubs and the weights. You know, it's just the weights are way too heavy. So. Yeah. Yep. So Facebook Marketplace is a good place for that. Um, I am going to do two for Rick here because they're kind of loaded up on Rick's side. Uh, the Sony CD player, he spent $5. And I did plug it in and tested it. It works. Um, the remote needs some cleaning up. Of course, there's speakers in here as well. Um, the remote does have some some pretty bad corrosion, so that may or may not work. It usually doesn't affect the value of these type units. 
Um, it, it always helps, of course, if the remote does work, but uh, it doesn't necessarily have to. So. And you should get about 75 for that once it's tested and cleaned up and everything. Um, also, he found a gear lube pump for a dollar. I don't even know what this is. I don't know what it is. I have to buy this. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be about $15 on uh, eBay. It's easy, easy ship to just some slide sort it of in. Boat thing, some sort of marine thing. I don't know. Um, Jack, uh, now we're back to Jack. He found some camo uh, bottles. Here, I got one right here. He's going to pick up the other. He spent $3 on them. I'll let him tell you about this. Um, uh, that he found an item, so I had to get one if I remember. Or I can't remember if I found it first. But The first one is a Starbucks. It's a silver cup. It has uh, camo tape all over it. And then these are just some just nice thermoses. I don't know if the uh, brand off of them or anything, but yeah, pretty cool find. I think about 30 bucks for those, so not too bad. Um, last for Rick is a little, a North Face. Yeah, I found a little uh, women's yeah. North Face jacket. Um, I believe it's in the video. Uh, it was pretty dirty, so we're washing that. Uh, we'll get it all cleaned up. He paid two dollars for that North Face. You should get about thirty. And then he's got this uh, Lululemon, you know, swanky athletic sort of top tank top thing. Yeah. Uh, another one of those things too with Lululemon. They always hide the size um, because that's taken off, and it is a size six. You can see kind of inside there. So yeah. Always a hunt for that. So it was dollar he paid for it. You should get about yeah. twenty bucks. Also easy ship. Mm -hmm. um, Jack found an Athleta tank. Take out something else. He spent two dollars <laughs> on it, and um, we we'll probably could get about twenty-five dollars, or he could give it to someone. <laughs> Either way, whatever he wants to do, no pressure. Okay, and also we found Rick found, um, which we're probably going to keep these pop-up books. He paid thirteen dollars for these pop-up books. It's got Alice in Wonderland. Really, really cool. Um, he found Alice in Wonderland. Uh, the whistle on the train. The whistle on the train. And Peter Pan. These are just really cool. I think. Yeah. And Horton here's a who. Um, he paid thirteen for him. We could probably get fifty for him, but uh, it's one of those things that we might just keep or. We might just give to somebody who has a little, you know, a new baby or something. Cause it's just, it's just kind of a nice gift, and um, so that's the kind of cool thing about this. Like we said, you can keep things or you know use really nice presents. Um, so uh, we're gonna tally everything up. Uh, Rick spent a total of eighty dollars, and uh, sell he could sell for about seven hundred fifty. <laughs> offers and things like yeah. that on eBay affect these totals. <laughs> the comps say about seven fifty. Comps say seven fifty. Uh, profit Rick's profit would be about six hundred and seventy dollars uh, minus the eighty pennies. <laughs> oh my goodness! Good oh my. <laughs> Jack spent about sixty four dollars, and uh, if he does, you know, what it's supposed to, it should sell for about six fifteen, and then so that makes his profit five hundred and fifty dollars. Um, so, uh, we also, <laughs> so who's the winner? So that would make Rick the winner, yes! except, <laughs> so Rick, Rick comes out the winner except. at 550 and 670, but we have to bring in Noel because I believe that Noel has found the best thing. <laughs> <laughs> Noel doesn't actually pay for anything at the garage sales because she's the cuteness. She just ends up getting it. <laughs> She found this Beanie Baby Dory, and as we all know, <laughs> all Beanie Babies are worth about a million dollars. <laughs> so I, we really think Noelle came in first, and then Rick came in second, and Jack came in <laughs> But the second place winner is the only one that gets, you know, an the first award, place. award for babies. our garage sale games, and the winner! <laughs> Of garage sale games for reals, it's the donut. These donuts are very just wonderful at our house. <laughs>
because of which I <laughs> So if you guys like this. Oh, <laughs> Of garage sale games, they're gonna have another one, I'm sure, because they had a lot of fun. Because it's, it's fun to have, you know, do something fun and while you're working. <laughs> so hit that like and subscribe, and then let us know, or maybe you guys can play with us wherever you are. So thanks. Thanks. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> you might have